things first, what is false pregnancy? False pregnancy in dogs pretty much is where when your dog does come into heat, she comes in the season. So she's ready to mate. You know, you do everything, you get everything set up and, you know, make sure that everything happens right. You know, uh, they mate, the two, you know, the male and the female, they, they do mate and you see this process happen. And um, as we like to do it, cause we, we have done, uh, you know, had the false pregnancy happen with our female before. So from the first lesson I learned, I, I tried to catch that window. There's a certain window you need to catch um, to where your female is actually going to have a better chance to get pregnant. Um, there's a certain, there's a small window, you know, um, just cause she's in the heat and you breed her one day does not mean that day is the actual perfect day that she's going to, you know, end up pregnant. So from the first lesson, you know, I learned, I tried to do my due, due diligence to make sure I catch that window. Um, so at least five times, once a day, at least personally is what I've tried to do. You know, we're still learning as we go too, as, as I've said before, um, it's breeding isn't just easy. It's just, you know, you just let these things happen and, you know, they happen, you know, there is work, there is work to do. There is things you need to know. There is some knowledge you need to get to uh, make sure and ensure that you're doing this right. Make sure that the mother, um, the female dog is going to uh, be healthy. Make sure that the puppies are going to be healthy. So um, one of the things that I would say that I learned is to try to catch that window the best best way possible. The best way possible is spending the money to go to a vet and letting them tell you um, the best time that your female dog is going to be ready to breed and at the time that she's going to have the biggest chance to actually become pregnant when you do breed her. Um, that's first and foremost. So when your dog is having a false pregnancy, she's actually showing signs of being pregnant. All the signs you would normally see in a dog um, when it's pregnant, your dog, your female dog is gonna show these signs. She's going to, you know, nest. You know, she's gonna to try to find a spot that she feels comfortable in to where she's going to want to have her puppies. You start seeing all these little things like that happen. You'll see um, her weight picking up. Our dog's weight, you know, our female, she she's on the heavy side anyway. Um, so we upped her food as normal. You know, you're supposed to up their food. It's like a pregnant, you know, just like anything that's pregnant. You know, you're gonna want to feed the mother and the baby. So, you know, we did that. We up Layla's food, she was getting bigger. So that was even making us think, okay, everything's going right. Everything's going right. As she progressed, you know, as well, her um, breasts started feeling like they were getting milk in them. Um, this is months down the line, you know, cause that usually doesn't happen until, you know, she's about ready to start having the puppies, you know, maybe a few weeks before the puppies are fixed to drop. So all the signs, all the signs she was showing, she was showing, I mean, it, we, we couldn't tell, we couldn't tell. And um, I messed up by trying to go the cheaper route. That's where I messed up at, personally. Um, I didn't take her to the vet as much as I should have. So basically, we learned another lesson. Um, you know, I wouldn't say that's the best route to go. Basically, we think, I guess you could say we think we <laughs> we know what we're doing. We do know what we're doing. Uh, you know, we've had plenty of successful breedings, plenty of 
puppies that are in great homes. We still talk to many of the people through our Facebook page and other uh, means, and we're still here to help, you know, most any of them, you know, any of them actually, all of them, you know, if they reach out to us, we're, we're here, you know, to um, help in any way that we can. Uh, so, but basically, I thought I knew what I was doing. I did. I do know what I'm doing, but I don't know enough. So I guess I don't know what I'm doing. So I, um, I just knew we were going to get this right after, you know, having this, like I say, having to, we, we've dealt with this before. We've, we've had Layla, you know, have this happen before and you know, we took it to the bed. We have a video of, uh, of it. I'll probably put it, you know, somewhere in a link or something to where you guys can um, take a look at that video. Um, we did take her to the vet then, you know, and it can be costly, you know, doing that, but that's the price you have to pay for um, what we're doing. And we do enjoy doing it. So, you know, I just tried to go a little cheaper because on that part at that time, and I'm paying for it. Um, other than that, you know, I would just say, make sure, you know, if you're doing this, just dot your T's, you know, dot, <laughs> dot your I's and cross your T's, um, because, um, you'll pay for it in the end, I guess. So, um, back to the subject. Um, yeah, your dog will start showing all these signs. She will show every sign of pregnancy. You'll think she's pregnant. Every, nothing will tell you she isn't pregnant because her hormones, the female dog's hormones will make her think she's pregnant. You know, the dog doesn't even know the difference. You know, she fully thought she, she was pregnant. <laughs> she, she was probably loving every bit of uh, getting the extra food because we, we filled her up. We wanted some of the best puppies, best looking puppies, you know, out of this litter that we've had. And we were expecting that we were just, we were doing most everything right. I guess, as I say, you know, where I messed up is, you know, trying to go a little cheaper and uh, not taking her to the vet um, as much as I should have through that process to uh, make sure that um, everything was the way I thought it was. So I learned my lesson. I learned my lesson and, uh, you know, you have to bump your head sometime, you know, so that you can learn. <laughs> I've had to do that many times for many things. So, yeah, we're, we're going to, we're going to make sure that, you know, we, we do what we're supposed to do as we go along, um, continuing breeding. So as an update of what we're going to be doing next, um, Layla's probably done breeding. She's had four to five great breedings. Like I say, um, great breedings um, where everything went well. She's had these two. She's had another one and she's had this one um, of the false pregnancy, phantom pregnancy, um, however you'd like to call that. So she is five years old, going on five. I think five. I have to check a paperwork. Um, it's hard to remember. Got a lot of kids, a lot of dogs. So, <laughs> sorry. Hard to remember. Um, pretty sure it's five, though. And I think she's retired. She's just going to live out the rest of her time being a great, great dog. Great boxer dog. You know, we don't plan on ever, you know, giving away any of our dogs just because they can't breed or we choose not to breed them because she still can breed. Um, we don't think we're gonna breed her again. More than likely, I'm not gonna breed again. I got three great females behind her that are uh, coming into their time. Um, Miso, Royalty, and Layla. Those three girls are, are some beauties and uh, their time is coming, you know, because that's what we do, you know. Um, um, we we breed great boxer dogs, you know, uh, to the best of our ability. So that's what's probably coming next. Um, 
sometime here real soon. Um, the other three girls will start coming into heat and uh, I'm hoping for some great successful, successful breedings uh, out of them. I'm going to <laughs> make sure everything goes great. I'm going to do everything I need to do um, to not bump my head anymore because like I say, that's, that's, that's just sets us back in, in what we're trying to do, you know. Um, you know, we just want to keep this process going. Um, Cause that's what we chose to do, you know. And we enjoy doing it. Um, we've met some great people doing it. Had some great experiences doing it. Got to do um, a little traveling just because of it, you know. Just, you know, sending, you know, taking puppies to um, as far as Colorado from where we're at right now, um, even Indiana. We have a, a lady in Indiana that has a dog uh, from us. We have a lady in Colorado, Texas, you know, all over. I think, Ar yeah, Arkansas. Some right here where we're at in Oklahoma. So, you know, we enjoy doing what we're doing. It, it, it does cost you, you know, you know, you, it does cost. You know, any, anything you do, you know, if you're starting any kind of investment business situation, it's going to cost you something and you're going to have to be willing to pay the cost to be the boss, as they say. <laughs> so, you know, you're going to have to end up paying that cost. You know, it, it, it's going to cost you to do anything, anything you do in life pretty much is going to, you know, it's going to cost you. So if you're willing to pay that price, I mean, this is this is time price. I mean, I get off work. I'm still working uh, so when I get off work, you know, part of my day is taking care of dogs so I can get back to rest, to get back to, you know, other parts of my life. So you got to give up a lot of time. You got space, you know, and all this care that these dogs need, you know. The, so, you know, just to touch on, on another subject, just uh, that's um, one of the reasons why breeders charge as they do you know it, it costs as you see just even not taking her to the vet for trying to be cheaper on that cost which it cost me because i did not take her to the vet um costs our household you know because we didn't end up with the puppies that we thought we were expecting to have uh you know so you know is you're gonna pay a price either in a good way or a bad way. So um, it's just best to do it the best you can so that you can pay the price in the good way instead of the bad way. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to kind of touch bases with everybody, especially those who will see this video that are on our Facebook page and our YouTube subscribers as well. And uh, kind of been following us and um, those who bought puppies from us, you know, they understand uh, what happened and what we're doing. And um, just kind of let anybody know that, you know, we had some a few people I'm sure that were wanting to, you know, get in touch with us for a pup and kind of feel like we let them down by me not doing what I was supposed to do. So, you know, we just wanted to touch bases with, with everybody and just give them a uh, little insight on what happened and uh, what's coming up. Like I said, we still do have three great dogs that are gonna be breeding here pretty soon and we can't wait for that to happen. So if y'all stay tuned, you know, subscribe, like to our page, keep following us, um, keep believing in us because we, we have a, a great prediction on the future of what we're trying to do. And, and this boxer dog world, man. We love our dogs, we love what we do. And uh, we hope you guys stick with us. So, signing up. Till next time.